What's up, people? Thank you for watching the channel. Guys, this video that we're going to be bringing you today is going to be a bit of a deep one. Look, we're in 2020. I was thinking today, you know, some of us, we've got our New Year's resolutions that we want to do. For some people, it's, you know, I want to lose weight. Some people, I want to bulk up. Uh, you know, I want to start a business. Sometimes we can concentrate so much on the um, external things and we don't, you, you know, we don't look at the foundational things, you know, that, that foundation, building that foundation. So today, this video is going to be about debt. Yeah, I said it. Debt. Consumer debt. This is something that we need to just stop, you know, sweeping under the carpet thinking that it's going to go away. That this is something that is crippling us. This is something that is harming us more than we actually think. Look, I was looking at a couple of statistics and here's some statistics on, on UK debt. So in 1998, the average household debt, so when I'm talking about debt, I'm not talking about mortgages, but I'm just talking about like credit cards, um, higher purchase, uh, store cards and all that kind of stuff. So the average debt was £5,456. That was in 1998. And then when the financial crisis hit in 2008, it doubled to 11, just over 11,000 pounds. So literally in the space of a decade, household debt doubled. So we're now in 2020. Obviously there's not gonna be statistics because we're only in January um, 2020. So there's not gonna be any statistics for 2020. But I can tell you that the household debt, the average Household debt now in the UK stands at, drum roll, 15,385 pounds. So I'm gonna say that again. So the average debt, consumer debt in the UK is just over 15,000 pounds. That's deep. Now, some of you, you might be watching this and you're sweating because you're thinking of the, the debt that you have got those credit cards and you know, with the credit cards, it's just so it's so easy to spend on, on your credit card when you want that little cheeky Chinese, you know them Chinese, the young child fried rice and all that kind of stuff. Can I come up with a young child fried rice, please? And some um, satay chicken and some spring rolls. You right? Now, you got credit cards out there now, you've got Ocean, you've got Capital One, you've got all of these different cards, these, these um, organizations that are just throwing money your way. So they start you off with a credit limit of 250, then they increase it to 750, then they increase it to 2,000 pounds. And then before you know it, you've maxed out on your cards. And you can repay, you know, you, you've got the minimum payment that you can pay back. And you know, how many times do you just, when, you, when it comes to the end of the month and you're making your credit card payments, do you just pay the minimum payment? This year, 2020, me and my wife, we have made it a goal that we are going to eradicate our debt that we have got. But we have um, multiple, multiple credit cards. And probably for about the last sort of three years, it's kind of, we've just had it there. And it's, we, we haven't made any, any kind of effort to really chip away. And it, it wasn't until the other day that I was, like, you know what, we've got this money in the bank and it's just sitting there, yeah? But then we've got money on our credit cards that we owe that is also just sitting there. But the, the thing is, the money that's sitting in our bank, it's not making us no money. The interest that you get from your bank is virtually nil. So that money is just sitting in there, static, just stagnant. But on the other hand, we've got a bill over here in our, in our credit, on our credit facility, that's racking up. I mean, I'm gonna to disclose to you how much money we have. Now, this is credit cards. So, we as a family have got 7,000 pounds. Now, 7,000 pounds. Now, I refuse to let 2020 go by and we still have £7,000 that we owe to various credit card companies. What we tend to do, when times are good, we tend to just spend and we, we don't care, we don't prepare. Um, but my thing is, and this is what I want to challenge you on, you know, 
I don't know how much money you earn. Uh, some of you, you might have a good disposable income. Some of you, you know, you might have families that you've got to provide for and things are tight. Uh, but you can, you can always prepare. You can always put 10 pound, 20 pound, 30 pound. Look, cut out on the Chinese, man. Cut out on the Chinese, cut out on, you know, you've got subscriptions with Netflix, you've got subscriptions with, uh, who's the other one? You've got subscriptions with Prime, you've got subscriptions with Spotify, you've got Sky TV, you've got Virgin TV, you've got all sorts of TV in your house. For us, we're challenging ourselves. We're giving ourselves six months, six months to clear seven thousand pounds worth of debt now i've punched the numbers in and i've done the calculations we could do that as a family we could do that it will require some sacrifices it's a sacrifice that's going to be worth it in the long run because one after the six months we are going to be seven we're going to have seven thousand pounds of credit at our disposal and this is the other thing we've got to use credit responsibly credit is a good thing if it's used in the right way you know, you could use credit to fund activities, you know, business opportunities. It's good to have that type of money at your disposal. And like I said, you know, we're going into a time now where things are going uncertain. You never know when you might need to dip into those reserves. You know, God forbid you get made redundant and you've still got that big bill over your head. Sort it out while you can now. If you want to travel somewhere fast, travel alone. But if you want to go somewhere far, then you travel with a village or you travel with your team, you know? So what I want to do, I want to challenge some people who might be watching this now and you know, you, you might be in debt yourself and you might be losing sleep and you know, you're getting anxious when you're getting those, those letters that are coming through your door. We are going to create, uh, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to create some sort of a platform whether it be a Facebook group, whether it be a WhatsApp group, where we can come together and at the end of each month, we can disclose. Now, look, we don't want to know your business. You might feel comfortable in saying, look, um, I've got one one thousand um, pound debt. I've got two thousand pound debt. I've got ten. I've got some of you might even have twenty thousand pound debt. Now, for those of you who don't know, a lot of um, credit agencies and stuff like that, they like your credit card utilization to be under 50%. If it's over 50%, then they kind of class you as kind of irresponsible in, in managing your money. You shouldn't be that much in, in debt is, is, is basically how they class it. And when you're over 50% utilization, it can become a challenge to get credit. So if you want to get a car, uh, if you want to get a mortgage, if you want to just get um, credit on certain things, it will be a challenge if your credit card utilization is over 50%. So in this group, you might you might feel a little bit kind of, uh, I don't know, you, you might feel a little bit of a way disclosing the, the monetary figure. So you might wanna just say, you know what? This month, uh, beginning of the month, I was at 80%. This month, I've managed to go to 60%. Or it might be the reverse. You might be at 50% and you might say, you know what? Man, this year, it's gone up. I'm, I'm, at, I'm now at 70%. But the whole point of this group is to keep each other accountable, um, to help each other, to advise each other. You know, my wife has come up with some really good ideas. We're gonna do some videos um, on, some, on some tips and how you can start saving money and creating more money. So my wife today, she was talking to me about this, uh, this five pound challenge. Now look, I don't know exactly how it works, so she's gonna do a video at a later stage. But from what I could kind of, compute in my mind when she was explaining it to me was that you you do like five pound on day one then day two you do 10 pound then day three you do 15 pound day four 20 so you, you always add five um five pounds to it so basically the, the calculations are that if you can stick to that for the year by the end of the year you will have over six thousand pounds now, just imagine if you was able to be with a, you, you, you know, buck heads with a couple of people that you can encourage each other to do that. What would six What would six k? What would six k do for you right now? 
if you're interested just leave a comment in uh, in in the description in, in the comment section below 2020 let's get our finances in order let let's let let's really make a dent and you know let, let let's let's build that foundation so that we can do a business look we can't talk about business if we're in debt man we can't that's ludicrous you can't talk about you know wanting to buy a house if you if you got if you got debt how can you begin to even look at saving for a deposit if, you know, look, I'm not saying that you can't save for a deposit. I'm not saying that. But let's chip away at the debt because at the moment, look, you know you're losing sleep, man. You know you're losing sleep. You know you're anxious. The main house want to invite you um, to come along with us on our journey. Like I said to you, look, I'm being transparent here and I've, all, I've just said to you, look, we've got about £7,000 um, of credit card debt um, that we are aiming in six months or seven months what did i say six or seven months to clear it that's our challenge and we're going to document this this journey look, just leave a comment below if you've got any tips um maybe look may, maybe once upon a time you were in debt and now you're debt free what did you do how how did you discipline yourself to um chip away at that debt and now you're, 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 you're financially free. You might be in a place where, man, you're up to your eyeballs in debt. Leave a comment, man. Let's just encourage each other. Let's build each other up. Let 2020 be the year, like I said, where you became debt free or you start to make some serious inroads in order to become um, debt free. So look, thank you for watching the vid. Thank you. The main house, we want, we want to thank you for subscribing uh you know for liking the videos and look if you like this video and if it's been useful just hit the subscribe button man help 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 to subscribe because when you subscribe and you hit that bell button what we're trying to do with this youtube channel we're trying to be um relevant so it's not gonna just be all um you know love it's, it's not gonna be all beautiful and oh yeah we're this happy family we're gonna show we're gonna try and give you access into all areas um, you know, so we've been transparent with our finances and stuff like that, telling you how we're going to look to try and better ourselves as a family. Um, because, look, if we can be better as a family, then we can be better in the community. You know what I mean? So, look, just help support the channel. It's going to be crazy. Give us a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Because, look, when you hit that like button, basically it sends an al algorithm. I'm told that it sells, it sends an algorithm to YouTube, which will recommend it to other people. So keep locked in, stay tuned and get involved. Thank you for watching.